one of the things that I need to do, and I've got all these parts made, is I need to re-square this to the quill. And I could do it a lot of different ways. You can do it with indicators, dial indicators. But one real quick, simple way is just to take a tool that's flat on the bottom, that's a machine flat edge, put it in the quill, bring it down right there, and then tighten the clamp while you got it down. Perfect right there, it's good and tight. Now we can go to finding our centers for drilling. The only dimension that's really critical on this is the hole spacing. I need the hole spacing on this to be right. You need to be right on the money. So I need to find the center this way to this way. And here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bring the quill down and I'm gonna bring it up against my drill bit. So once I touch my drill bit, I'm gonna re-zero both my DROs and I'm gonna crank it all the way over here and back it just till I touch the drill bit again. So the number I got is 0 0.6120. Now, take the calculator, 0 0.6120 divided by two equals 3.06. So if I take, go back to 3.06, it's half that number, that puts me right in the middle, 0.3060. So right now, I'm in the middle this way. Now, I need to find the edge. There's a lot of different ways we could find the edge, but again, we're not building a watch on this particular part. So the fastest and easiest way to do it is just to find it with the tip of the drill bit. And this is a pretty small drill bit. It has a pretty fine tip on it. You know, we're gonna be a couple thou off from being perfect, but I'm, I'm okay with that. We now can reset both the DROs again. And I know that I need the first hole to be one tenth of an inch or a hundred thousandths from the spot that we just marked. So that's easy enough, crank out a hundred thousand. We're at a hundred thousandths or a tenth of an inch, I'm gonna reset it to zero. That's my zero point where I'm gonna drill my first hole. There's a reason being, we need to start from zero to measure out our next hole. So let's drill a couple of holes here real quick. Put our stop right here. We're gonna go ahead and use the power function on the mill. Just put a little bit of a Luma tap on it. Our feed rate for our power down feed is one and a half thousandths per revolution. I'm doing that so that it doesn't hit the GoPro camera. And our hole is drilled. The number where we need this to be is 90625. We round it up to 9063. So we're going to reset both these. We're going to crank it over to 9063. Right there. That's where we need to drill our next hole. Same thing we just did all over again. Let the machine do the work for us. All right, now we need to tap both these holes and we wanna get it square to the table. One of the easiest ways to break a tap, especially a small one, is not to have that bad boy square to the table. Now here is one of the ways that I do it, right, wrong, or indifferent. I have this, just a little piece of tool steel, drill rod that I've put a point on. If you've done machining before in the past, you've probably seen somebody else do this trick. All right, so we'll put the tap in place and that little point goes right there, just like that. So we're gonna tap this hole. Got the Aluma tap on it. I'm keeping just a little pressure on the quill, not a lot, just to keep that tight to the back that keeps the back of the tap from wobbling. And they make spring-loaded tap followers. I just don't have one. It's kind of always been on my wish list of things to have, just never had one. So we can back that back out. Now, remember just a minute ago, we zeroed the DRO. That was important because now we're going back to zero. When we go back to zero, we're right over the top of the first hole we drilled. We're at zero, zero, zero. That puts us right in line. Now, what is the most critical on this part is the spacing between these holes. Left to right spacing, not so much. You notice, you'll see that it's off just a little bit, and that's because of the, some of these wound up being a little smaller diameter 
than the others because I had some saw marks that I wanted to get out of them uh, from when I roughed them out. I roughed them out a little, a little too rough. And it, that outside dimension is not a critical dimension, but I, I do want to be able to polish them and make them look nice there in the end. Okay. So this is tapped out to an 832. The part's out of here. This part's coming along good. We're going to machine the relief groove for the clamp part of the little generator holder. And essentially, I found center, and I'm a quarter inch off the center line, which you can see I marked it here. So I'm a quarter inch above that. And what I'm going to do is set this, and we're going to go three tenths. So we're going to mill in that direction three tenths of an inch, or 300 thousandths. And that's going to be our little land to put the bolt in. All right, now that we're in here, unlock the table. We'll clean those little edges up. And we are done with that action. All right, now we're going to mark center. Uh, we've re-zeroed the DRO so that we now know right where center is. Now we're going to drop the table and change into our drill chuck so that we can drill the hole, the bolt hole that's going to go through there. We're on zero. I'll lock our table. If I touch off to the back of the work, reset the DRO and come back to 1192, that'll be where I'm going to put my hole right here. Same process with our little pointed, pointed piece and our tap. Two screw. So we went from this to this. So it's time to put the parting slot in here. Essentially from this flat la land right here, we've come down a quarter of an inch. We've got a slitting saw in here and we're just gonna put a nice relief cut in here and that'll allow us to be able to pull that bolt and clamp that down. A little lubrication on here. Alrighty then. So now that electric motor can sit through there. We're going to put a screw through here and tighten this down. And we'll be able to bolt it down in place. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like us on Facebook, please. Somewhere down below here is a link. We've got a lot more really cool stuff coming. Is that right, camera guy? Is there a link down there? Send me a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Click whatever link. Click something. See you soon.